The 8800 digital radio test set auto test feature can automatically align and test a large number of analog and digital radios. Auto test makes testing and aligning a radio as simple as hooking up the radio, selecting the test, and pressing the run button. The end result is a finely tuned and tested radio with full documentation of test results in a very short amount of time. The first step in the auto test procedure is to connect the radio's antenna port to the 8800TR port. The radio's data I.O. is connected to an 8800 USB connector. If a mobile radio is selected for test, the power supply of the radio can be connected through a shunt to the 8800 DMM input. This enables PA bias to be aligned. After the connections are made, simply power on the radio and select Auto Test on the 8800. The 8800 Auto Test function is located under the Utilities button of the taskbar. After opening Auto Test, select the make and model of the radio under test. The radio under test in this example is a Motorola APX type radio, so we'll select that as the make of the radio. Now the model of the radio can be selected from the drop down list. A more expedient method of selecting the model of the radio is to use the Read Radio button. When the radio is powered on and its data I.O. is connected to the 8800, pressing Read Radio will prompt the 8800 to retrieve the radio information and automatically assign the model and number of frequency bands supported by the radio. This radio has been identified as a model H97TG. The appearance of the dual band button means that the radio has been identified as a dual band radio. The menu selection determines whether the radio will only be tested or whether the program will perform a combination of alignment and test of the radio. Note that when alignment is selected, the number of tasks displayed in the test summary increases. This reflects the fact the program is prepared to completely align the radio, then test the radio to ensure the radio meets specification. To ensure maximum test and alignment accuracy of transmitter power, loss factors of the coaxial cable can be entered into the cable loss menu. Using a high quality, low loss cable will always improve the accuracy of any radio test and alignment. The main test and configuration display is selected by pressing one of the display tab buttons. Right now, the summary display is selected. If a line item on the summary menu is outlined in blue, that means the item will be included in the test or line and test sequence. Currently, all of the line items are selected, so the test will include radio information, frequency error, transmitter power and parametrics, and receiver burr measurements. The test display provides access to configuration of the individual tests, as well as the ability to view the results of a particular test or alignment, even as the procedure is running. For example, pressing the Configure button on the Frequency Error test presents a menu that enables editing the pass-fail criteria of the Frequency Error test.
The upper and lower frequency error limit values can be adjusted according to the operator's test criteria. Because a dual band radio is selected for test, the limit values for both bands of the radio can be edited. Whenever a value for a selected configuration has been edited, the current config field will display the current settings as a custom configuration. Later, we'll look at how to store and recall custom auto test configurations. The 8800 uses the manufacturer's specifications for a particular radio as the default test criteria. Pressing the reset button will restore the manufacturer's specifications as the test limit criteria. Now is a good time to mention that pressing the Home key will return Autotest to the previous display. The Radio Information Configuration allows up to three fields of information to be added to the test results. For example, one field of information can be used to enter the identity of the operator performing the test or alignment into the test report. When a dual band radio is selected for test or alignment, the dual band button provides the opportunity to include or exclude either band as a part of the test or alignment. As the test or alignment is running, the color-coded status indicators will signify if a test item has been passed or failed, has been skipped or aborted, or is currently running. Each radio band will have a separate column of test status indicators. In this case, the radio is a dual band radio, so there are two columns of status indicators. Sometimes the operator may not wish to run the full test or alignment, but would rather test or align just one or a few parameters of the radio. The test display provides the opportunity to select which components of the test or alignment will be run. A particular line item can be included or excluded by pressing its selection button. For example, the frequency error test has been deselected so it no longer displays the green selected indicator. Now if the test were run, the frequency error test would be skipped. Pressing the deselect all button removes all of the line items from the test sequence. If the test were run now, only the radio information and frequency error tests would be executed. Pressing the Select All button enables all of the line items to be executed when the test is run. The Manage Config button allows a test configuration, including edited limits and test selection, to be stored for instant recall at a later time. The test configuration has been stored. In this example, the new test configuration is also selected as the current test configuration. Now the test is as simple as hooking up the radio, recalling the setup, and hitting run to run the test. Moreover, test setups can be transferred to multiple 8800s so that radio tests can be standardized across the fleet. At any time, the default settings can be restored from this screen. So far in this video, there's been a lot of talk about Autotest. Now it's time to just run a test.
First of all, let's make sure the radio is on and the RF and data I.O. are connected. If the radio is powered from a battery, we should make sure it has enough juice to get through the test. Fortunately, with the 8800, the test will go pretty quickly. All that's left to do is to hit the Run button. As the test runs, the status bar allows the operator to know exactly what task the test is currently executing. The summary screen continually updates the status of each line item as the test runs. Going to the test screen will provide detailed information as the test runs. As the test finishes the first frequency band of the radio, note that the frequency error test for the second band is skipped. The frequency accuracy of the radio has already been tested, so there is no need to retest it on the lower frequency band. The test is completed and the radio has passed all of the line item tests. The detailed test report can be viewed by pressing the last results button. At the top of the test report, the operator information, date and time of the test, the 8800 model number, serial number, and software version of the 8800 are displayed. Beneath that is the radio information, including model number, serial number, code plug, supported frequency bands, and so on. The detailed test results of each line item follow the test set and radio data. The test data will include the name of the line item, the test criteria, results, and pass-fail status of each subtest under the line item, the pass-fail status of the entire line item, and the amount of time it took to complete the line item. A summary of the test appears at the bottom of the report. The summary includes the pass-fail status of each line item and the amount of time it took to perform the entire test. It took 5 minutes and 24 seconds to perform a complete test of frequency error, transmitter power, transmitter parametrics, and receive BER for two bands and generate a report of the test results. Not bad. What's even better is that it took only 11 minutes, 29 seconds to perform a complete alignment and test of the same two-band radio. That's the whole shooting match of alignment and test. Two frequency bands of power characterization, PA saturation reference, deviation balance with the transmitter and receiver completely tested afterwards, including a detailed test report generated all in less than 12 minutes. By the way, these previous test results were retrieved by pressing the Browse Results button. Any previous test results can be chosen for review. Pressing the Select button will display the selected test results.
All test results can be retrieved from the 8800 for printing and permanent storage. Clearly, the 8800 auto test contains a feature set that can greatly enhance test efficiency and throughput in any radio shop.